Something is happening in the realm of the spirit. Something is happening in the realm of the spirit. And the Lord said, the major prophet, my son, you cannot keep quiet. It's important that you step out and prophesy so that people that will be on life with you can be able to hear and see and understand what is going on. Because the realm of the spirit has already opened for the major prophet of God to have a sight seen. The Lord has opened the spiritual world for the major prophet of God to have access to spy on things that are going to be unfolding on the face of the earth. Some time ago, I gave prophecy about Nigeria and the elections in Nigeria. I gave also prophecies about the, the result and what is about to go to be the outcome of the election. And accurately, it came just like I, God has given me revelation to prophesy. But one thing is important, and this which is important is a matter, an issue that I need to, you know, speak to you about on what is unfolding in the realm of the spirit. And so what I'm going to say to you now is that it is very, very important that every prayer warrior in Nigeria should stand up. Every single prayer warrior in Africa should stand up. Every single prayer warriors in the world, especially those that have interest in Nigeria, should stand on their feet. Because in the physical realm and in the realm of the spirit, something is cooking. Something is cooking and the Lord wants the major prophet of God to look into it and also speak to the people of God all over the world. We must pray for this country. We must pray for this country. We must stand in the gap. To stop what is cooking in the realm of the spirit. I am not a prophet that always come out to you know begin to struggle for what to say or to begin to say something that God has not instructed me to speak. I'm a prophet that comes out to wait, to wait upon the Lord and wait till the Lord has spoken to me before I will be able to communicate. So that is why I am here. And the Lord has given me the grace. The Lord has given me the, the revelations of what will unfold. The Lord has already spoken to me. The Lord has already inspired me and has already given me a word. And that word is what I am here to minister to you all, wherever you are. All the prayer warriors in Africa, if you are a man of God, you are a prophet, you are a pastor, whoever you are, and you know how to pray, you know how to stand in the gap, stand on your feet and begin to pray for the country Nigeria. You are not praying for, oh, you are just praying for maybe government or whatever. You are praying for the citizens of the country and the people of the country of Nigeria. You are praying for them. You are praying for them. The essence of this is because something is cooking in the realm of the spirit. I have seen it clear. I've seen it clear. I've seen it very, very clear. There is what is called the obvious provocation that is said to cause trouble on the face of the country, Nigeria. Now, sometimes when the mysteries and deeper things like this are revealed, we try to keep it to ourselves and continue to pray. But it's important that I awake all the people that are well wishers and the people that are lovers of peace and lovers of freedom all over the country to now begin to pray because of the provocation. Provocation. Serious one. Serious provocation. Is already a deliberate act about to take place. I know it in my tongue. This is what is called, this is what's called a deliberate provocation. A 
and what is going to bring about rest. Rest. People who don't understand English, pay attention and listen to me. Unrest is not a good thing. I am not among the prophet that prophesies such. Whereby some places are boiling, some places are boiling, some places are boiling. The whole country will feel it. This is the season of birthday for the major prophet of God. What will the Lord do for me to use it to say, oh my son, I want to make you happy. I want to gladden your heart. It's for the Lord to stretch his hands in the realm of the spirit and quench the very dart of the enemy and stop the moves of the wicked and stop the agenda of the evil people the people with spirit of provocation, the people with what's called the do or die affair, the people with what's called what's called a dissolution, dissolution, provocation, or whatever it is, that the Lord may stretch his hand and stop them. The Lord stop them. The Lord Jesus, mighty God, stop them. Power from above. There is power from above. Power from above. There is power from above. I believe. I believe. There is power from above. I believe. Oh, I believe. Oh, there is power from above. Power from above. There is power from above. Power from above, oh, yo. There is power from above. I believe, oh, I believe, oh. There is power from above. Power from above, oh. There is power from above, oh. There is power from above. I believe. Oh, I believe. There is power from above. I believe. Oh, I believe. Oh, there is power from above. Power from above. There is power from above. There is power from above. I believe, oh, I believe, oh, there is power from above. Healing from above, there is healing from above. Deliverance from above, there is deliverance from above. I believe, oh, I believe, oh, there is power from above. 